do our graphical design, what we do is converted into code. Now, even if Nightmare Notter itself has, by some divine miracle, managed to escape any and all software patent traps, is it not possible that what it produces will step into a software patent trap? I don't know. It's I, conceivable. It, it certainly is, isn't it? it? And there, once again, the user, the end user, is the one who's walking right into that trap without any prior warning at all. That's quite, that is at least theoretically possible. Whether, whether there really are patents of that kind, I don't know. But there could be. I suppose it depends on what is patented. For instance, if someone had managed to patent the concept of a loop, then that would be pervasive in, in everything. Yeah, well, fortunately, even in the U.S., there were no software patents until 1980. And, uh, you know, they might still, you know, they could issue a patent on loops. Uh, it would be like the Australian patent on the wheel in, in the sense yes. that uh, it wouldn't really stand up in court, but they might be able to use it to intimidate people who don't have the money to fight them in court. Hmm. So if I may be forgiven the sin, patenting a loop could be considered a form of circular reasoning? I don't know. Anyway. Very justified. Thank you, people. Um, second question, and I will make it quick. I don't want to block the line for too long. The difference between physical manufacturing and software development, and this is actually a comment. How many of us in here, may I have a show of hands?